Hello, this is Dr. Gay from Versic MRI, and this is a 38-year-old male who had complaints of headaches for about a month and a half after COVID. He also had some problems with his thyroid when he saw his primary care physician, and he came in to get an MRI of the brain. He was worried he had a brain tumor, and so he got an MRI, and we see that his brain looks pretty good overall, a couple minor things, but the main thing is his pituitary gland looks like there's an eyeball in the pituitary gland. We have this bright rim and then a central area of low signal intensity. This is called a flare sequence. We see that this whole pituitary mass goes up and pushes on the brain up here. And above the pituitary gland, we have the optic chiasm. That's where the optic nerves come together right over the pituitary gland, and it looks like the optic chiasm is getting pushed superiorly and compressed. And that can cause visual disturbance, and he did have a history of visual disturbance as well. Now in this view, we see this area that's dark, looks like a, an eyeball here, and a hyperintense rim around the periphery. It looks like this is solid tumor. This whole thing is solid tumor, and the dark area is blood products. We're going to put up another view here called a T1 view. And on the T1 sequence, we'll be able to see anything bright is typically a blood product. So we see this hyperintense area here. This is probably a blood product, so this is a pituitary tumor that bled into itself and now it's expanded and elevated and pushing on the optic chiasm. This is another view we're looking straight on. We can see that area of probable hemorrhage and this bright rim, which is probably a solid tumor. It's just unusual. It's so bright like this. This may also be some blood products in a different phase. But this is a blood vessel going over the top. And then this is the optic chiasm, this gray material. Optic nerve, optic nerve coming together. The optic chiasm. So again, when this pituitary uh, tumor bleeds into itself, it'll have this rounded area of abnormal signal, which is the blood products, and then the pituitary tissues are compressed, and it'll sometimes go up and push on the optic chiasm and cause visual disturbance. And compressing the regular pituitary tissues can cause problems with the thyroid, um, or, yeah, thyroid function. They get hypothyroidism and other problems with their pituitary axis. And this can be even uh, life-threatening if they have uh, prompt drop in their thyroid function, they can um, even die. So we had uh, told this patient to head to the ER and get a nice neurosurgical consultation to get good advice. And depending on their symptoms, they may need to have uh, steroids administered. Or in uh, cases where they have uh, bad symptoms, they may even recommend that they go in and do a transferenoidal resection of the pituitary gland. So again, this is a case of pituitary apoplexy, which is hemorrhage, usually into a pituitary macroadenoma. And um, again, they also get compression of the optic chiasm if the pituitary tumor is large enough, and then problems with their um, pituitary axis. And in a case like this where we have optic nerve or optic chiasm compression, almost for sure they will go in and have a transferenoidal resection done. And that's it. Thank you very much.